hello everyone so today we are going to discuss a very important question that was asked by surveyor in AMU class 4 and uh, I was receiving a lot of requests from people to cover this topic so I thought to finally serve you all by covering this topic so this is the difference between welding torch and cutting torch okay so I'll be telling you separately basically what we are going to discuss is the tip part okay those ke jo uska tip hota hai what we have the difference in that so I'll be telling you about the welding torch first and if you look at here <coughs> you find here uh, this is welding torch this is oxygen valve and then we have acetylene valve okay then we have mixing chamber and then head tube and this is the tip that we are going to discuss this tip aspect if I took tell you in a close look so this you can have a look at it so here you can see one hole okay so this is the tip that is fitted over here we are going to discuss this so it has tip with one hole you can see here it has a tip with one hole two valves controlling the amount of oxygen and acetylene going to it so we have two valves oxygen valve and then we have acetylene valve so we have two valves to control the amount of oxygen going to it and we have a handle over here which is handheld okay oxygen and acetylene going to it so this was about the welding torch so the cross difference is that it has it has tip with one hole it has a single hole and we have two valves separately for oxygen and acetylene now when we talk about uh, cutting torch so this is the cutting torch you can see here you can see a center hole and then you have a lot of holes around it center hole and a lot of small holes around it so these are different uh, shapes and diameters size basically in a more close look okay now we have a series of small holes around a large hole first thing there we had only a single hole so in cutting torch we have series of small holes around the large hole small hole receive a mixture of oxygen and acetylene to heat the metal being cut so small hole receives a mixture of oxygen and acetylene so these series of small holes whatever is present series of small holes they receive mixture of oxygen and acetylene okay to heat the metal being cut so because first of all we are heating the metal so when that uh, temperature reaches and then we try to cut it mixture is controlled by two valves here also we have two valves center receives only oxygen through a separate passage so the center hole over here it receives only oxygen okay with thumb controlled uh, with thumb controlled on off valve so we have a on off valve so what we are doing this sideways the small holes they receive oxygen and acetylene so they are burning and what is happening we heat the metal surface which is being cut when the temperature reaches when that molten stage reaches and then with that hand held valve we press with the thumb and what happens then this then this metal cuts when metal reaches the molten temperature valve pressed with thumb allowing oxygen exiting center hole and blowing away molten metal so this is the aspect so here we have seen that what is the difference between a welding torch and cutting torch in welding torch you see that a single hole okay we have two valves controlling oxygen and acetylene okay but when we talk about the cutting torch we have the center hole and we have a series of small holes in small holes we have oxygen and acetylene coming and in center hole only oxygen comes so we heat the metal first and when the temperature reaches with the thumb pressed valves we have um, we press the thumb and then with the help of the oxygen it vanishes 
thank you so much i hope it is clear for you share us your feedback valuable feedback so that we can improve on it and uh, stay safe stay healthy new variant of virus is there and uh, we wish you all the very best for your future endeavors thank you